Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Utterly fantastic to have you here again, as per usual. So, we're taking a little hiatus from the big batch of hammers that I have to make. And now, of course, you remember a couple of weeks ago, I opened up the most unbelievable, incredible, and beautiful box in the world that the Samurai Carpenter sent me. Well, today, I'm gonna begin designing and hopefully prototyping some of the Damascus steel hardware that I'm gonna make for it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that the samurai carpenter made for me. He's a, he's a carpenter on YouTube and I, I just took the cover off and looked at it again and oh my goodness I'm still just as ecstatic as I was in the video that I'm going to link up here or up there right now uh, which is worth watching and I'll link that at the end of the video too where I unbox this because it's just so beautiful. The craftsmanship is unbelievable. So what I need to do on this box is I'm going to be making all the hardware. As a number of you pointed out on the last video there are no hinges on this box. There are handles, there's no, it's, it's not really a box. I think this needs some beautiful hinges coming right across the top and I want to make them out of Damascus. First of all, I've never made hinges, so I want to come up with a design that I like and then prototype them out of mild steel and see how the forging will work, how they'll interact and how they'll perform as hinges. In addition, here at the ends of the box, I'm going to want handles and I need to think about this too. can see from my fine drawings, I've considered very hard, I've thought, I've pondered, I've considered, I've thought, I've pondered and I've considered and I've come up with some extremely technical engineering drawings of uh, exactly how the hinge is gonna go and that's an absolute lie. Basically, I've got a vague idea of something that I want to try. I'm not gonna be able to explain it well, I'm gonna be able to draw it even worse, I'm gonna like the forge. I'm going to try and forge out a block that I can then machine and mill into a prototype hinge tomorrow. So regarding the design of the hinges that I'm going for, initially I was thinking that the way to really kind of make this box pop was going to be to have hinges that go all the way across. Now thinking about it further, I think that's actually going to detract from the beauty of the top. So I want to keep the hinges on the top relatively small. I want to have hinges here hinge here. I don't want it to span the whole way across. I want to keep it a little simpler. And when I come to actually making this out of Damascus, I'm going to focus on making a really interesting and engaging Damascus steel pattern. A traditional way of making hinges as a blacksmith is to roll the eye or roll the barrel of the hinge where the pivot goes through, uh, where the pin goes through and it pivots. I can't do that because I'm going to have a massive amount of difficulty finishing it and bringing it to a consistent finish ready for the etch. What I also am going to really struggle with is forge welding an eye over because then I end up with a less than ideal level of cleanliness. Now, it would be fine for a gate or a door or something like that where there's a lot of mass but with a top here that's relatively light without a lot of leverage, I want to make sure that I get as clean, as clean a pivoting action as possible um, so that this box is pleasant to open and close.
much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed following me along with today's little project. This experimentation, the design stages, the planning stages of trying to do Jesse the Samurai Carpenter's box justice. If you want to see this box being made over on Jesse the Samurai Carpenter's channel, please go ahead and hit this button right here. And if you want to see another video of mine, which I really recommend, go hit that button there. Hit subscribe. Please be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.